Hello again, everybody. Step out here at the death shop. I'm gonna try and be brief because I don't have a lot of time left on this card. I didn't really want to switch cards, but there's my pile. There's barely anything left. And look at this, we got the uh, small daisies popping out on our wildflowers already. There's some grass mixed in with that. It's been that way for a couple of years. Not even know what this thing is. Maybe uh, crime pays, but botany doesn't can tell me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're gonna come take a look because I've done uh, a lot of stuff. <laughs> or actually, more like we've got a lot of stuff going on, I should say. Got dandelions mowed the other day. Clover's already kind of getting high, as you can see. It's kind of interesting. It's pretty fast. I have to get up top, though, which is what I'm going to try and do tonight before everything goes and then gotta make some uh, some of that uh, weed killer I'm not gonna use the poison stuff I'm gonna do uh, what is it uh, Epsom salt and uh, and uh, white vinegar getting some wind now so you might get some feedback but I've got one two asparagus already frond out a little I might cut those off though but you can see that we got some there got some there got some there this year, I might actually get some fresh asparagus. Nice. Let's take a look through here. I want to be careful about stepping in the asparagus, though. Get over to the end here. We've got a whole bunch of... I think those are garlic and shallots already popping up really high. We've got peas right here. No green beans yet. But uh, we got peas. And I think basil's over here. Basil hasn't popped up yet either. I'm doing a decent job of watering. It's a late afternoon, so it's a little bit too early to do it right now. Nothing here. Strawberries. Oh, look at that. First blossom of the year. I'm going to end up popping a bunch of blossoms off these this year. Because they uh, flower twice. And so I want all the juicy berries that come around the second time because they're bigger. My one leak there, which it looks like it's getting close to time to pick, so I'll have to pick a dinner and use it with it. These guys need weeded, because I went and weeded the other half the other day, but those guys need weeded. I had to pull a huge amount of raspberries from where this blueberry's at. Look at that. It looks like I already have blueberries growing on there. Well, wow, that's kind of crazy. Let's get close. See? Not too shabby. It's been in the ground for three. This is the third year. No cantaloupes yet. It's getting ready to pull this because you can see that it's getting ready to flower. So whatever garlic's in there, I'm gonna pull it out. Potatoes are about ready to go massive on me. And what do you know? Those strawberries I pulled out. Those Ozark Beauties decided they wanted to stay alive, so I'm giving them a spot right up in the very corner. Raspberries starting to bud out already. Haven't had the chance to tie them up yet. That's going to be another quick project for me. In here, this is kind of interesting here because this is all uh, going to be some pansies, some dahlias. I was going to do artichokes like in the second one, but. Uh, but I think it's a little late to be doing the chokes. Pardon my neighbors and stuff that are getting ready to do some yard work. Don't have anything in the chokes yet. That's definitely not a choke that's gonna get destroyed. See all the thistles that I've been fighting for years, so we'll get rid of those. Cherries, of course, no longer blossoming. That's why I gotta get the mower up here, though, if you can see. This part isn't quite what I like yet. And my Japanese maple that got hit by lightning when we first moved in it is looking halfway decent again. But now, one big thing here is I'm still a couple bags of pea gravel away, but now I actually have a walkway I can step step on here, and not break like those ones. I got one more really good one that I'm going to remove and put in its place. As soon as I get the other pea gravel to sit underneath it. So I want the gravel to come to right about me. Yay. Just beyond the slat here. And this monster is 
monster is going to get caged or something. I need to do something with it because uh, otherwise it's going to go everywhere. Or it's going to get so thick that the wind's going to bust it. And I really don't want that to happen. So we're going to have to tie it along with the raspberries. That's coming in a couple days though. I'll do it probably on Friday. But I am forced to do stuff in the middle of the week because I now have, uh, now have Friday and Saturday off. <laughs> which was horrible for shopping the other day when I did yard work and came out here and did a little bit too much, but I always do a little bit too much. I got that last slat planted finally and I did some weeding, so it's going to look good eventually. And I'm going to take this down here and spray that with that natural nuke and take out all that stuff there. I say natural because it'll break down naturally and it's not going to harm other stuff. It only it only kills what's green, but I'll have to come snip these first because I don't want the seed on the walkway. <laughs> and down here too, also flatten this out, took that up and helped uh, helped with the plants up above and that's the several dahlias that I had the bulbs for and I just don't have the heart to waste them so there's four dahlias in here. So Hopefully I'll have dahlias again. <laughs> Haven't been able to overwinter them here up in eastern Washington, not like I did uh, when I lived in Lincoln City, Oregon, it was real easy to do it there, but I'm really excited to see that first blossom over there. Wow, that's kind of that's kind of crazy already. But uh, yeah, it's just what happens when you take care of the garden, I guess. <laughs> anyway, death out at the dust shop. Saying I'll catch you later. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that button for me. I'd very much appreciate it. Anyway, until next time, take care, and we'll catch you later. Bye, guys.